How's everybody doing today? My name is Doug or Always On Board and today I'm going to teach you guys how to apply text to your videos in Premiere Pro CS6. Now there's three text tools in this program I'm going to show you all of them. Uh, so I'm going to make this video pretty quick. This is for beginners and I hope you guys enjoy it. So the first thing that you want to do to apply text to a video is go to title, new title, and default still and click OK. Now you have a bunch of different options, so for right off the bat, uh, there's these little things right here. There's the move tool and the text tool rotation and yada yada. But you're gonna click on the uh, type tool, which is T, and then I'm gonna type in Doug. Actually, let's make that capital so I feel cool. Boom. And then uh, the first thing that people usually pay attention to is all these down here, and these are styles that have already came with the program, so you don't have to use them, but if you want to, uh, it's up to you. They Like if I click on this, it's already set with a gradient on there. It's got a drop shadow on it and it just looks good. But they created it and you can also go through, you click it again, you can also go through and change it and make it what you would want it to look like, like change the font and all that. But uh, if you don't want to do that and you want to be creative and make your own, then this is what you do. So the move tool, move tools up here and you can use that to move it around and you can change the size of it and whatnot. Hit Command Z or Control Z to go back if you don't like what you've done. Uh, you have options over here for all these different uh, things where you can move. Uh, so X position, Y position, which means move left and right, up and down. You can change the width. You can change the height and the rotation tools. You can change the font right here or you can change it up here. And then there's options right here for like bold or depending on the font, you can have bold font, but this font's already pretty like bold enough. Um, let's see, you have these center tools over here. So if you're highlighted over your text and there's a center right here you can center into the Verizon or horizontal and so that centers it if you click both of those or you can just move it to wherever you want so I'm gonna put it actually let's put let's center it again and usually what I do is I use a, a shadow so that is a drop shadow and as you can see there's it's a little bit of a drop shadow but if I put it up to a hundred percent opacity you know it looks pretty good and you can change it to where the opacity of the whole text itself is not that bright because maybe you want to see through it you can do you know whatever you'd like and so that's pretty much the gist of it you have a bunch of options for strokes and fill colors and you can change the font color just by right here next to fill solid and you can change the color let's say red okay or you can go right here and there's gradients there's four color gradients where you can have up to four colors in your gradient so it's pretty useful and uh, let's see you just exit out of that once you find the text that you want and it goes down into this uh, project folder where your videos and sequences are and all you have to do right here is just click and then you drag over and it's automatically set to five seconds just because in the settings that's what I had it set to and uh, if I want to make this the same length of this clip you just highlight over the edge and this red thing pops up and so you just drag it to wherever you want okay and now let's just say uh, you want to keep it like that that's cool if you want to put that like as a watermark but let's say that I want to you know fade this in and fade this out this is going to be pretty easy all you have to do is you click on the actual um, title text thingy and then you go up here to opacity and then you have these things right here where you can do a keyframe and then you can go up in time which if you move it right here it also moves the video as well so let's just say we want to do one second and then we put that opacity or actually we put another keyframe right there and we go back to this first one and then set the opacity to zero so now what it's going to do is it's going to fade in and if you want to be quick with that, um, instead of going through all this trouble right here, all you would have to do is say we want to fade this out. You go up to this yellow line that is on the title and you click Command or Control and then you just click right on it. And then it adds a keyframe just by clicking it. So if we click one right there and we click one right here, we drop the second one down to zero so that it fades out. So let's just play this real quick and then it fades right out. So that's that tool, it's very easy. Um, now the next tool that you would use, you use this tool actually for like credits and this would be title, new title, default role and then click OK. And then as you can see on this there's going to be a, roll, a rolling option where you can scroll down and for me I've already typed in something just stupid. Oop. I typed this in real quick just so that I can have it for this video and so you guys can do that. And as you can see, I can scroll through it. I'm not going to center it up and make it look nice because I just showed you how to in the, the beginning of the video. So I'm just going to actually go up here to this button that says roll, roll and crawl options. And for this, I'm going to have it roll because it's going to be credits. And I'm going to make it to where it starts off screen and ends off screen, which means if I exit out of all this and I bring this in, it doesn't start 
until the beginning of the clip and it doesn't end till the end. So what I would have to do for this is I would have to stretch this all the way out to where it matches this video as well. So let's say I'm just trying to thank everybody for being in my video or it's a movie credits, yada, yada, yada. Or if you wanna stretch this out further, it makes it to where the time is slower. Let's see this, do, 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 do. So that's pretty cool and that's, you know, pretty much it for that tool. Now the next tool is sort of like a credit, but you would see this more um, if you watch like sports and stuff. So let's go to new title, default, crawl, and click okay. And then we're gonna type in Doug is awesome. Okay, and actually let's add more to that so it's longer. Um, so it's longer, cool. And then you can move this wherever you want. It doesn't matter because you're gonna go up here to this little, actually it matters if you want it to be up here or down here, but it doesn't have to be centered or anything. So let's say we want it up here. And then we go up here to this button again where it says roll crawl options. And this one's gonna be crawl left. You can choose crawl left or crawl right, which means the video or the, the text would go from the left in or the right in. So I want it left, start off screen, end off screen and click okay. And then we're gonna exit out of that and then put this right on top of here again. I'm gonna make it to where it's sized up with the video. Okay, and now if I hit uh, the start thing, it would just go from the left to the right, or from the right to the left, I'm sorry. And so that's pretty much it, and you can do the same thing. You can drag this out as far as you want to make the time actually go by slower. And you would see this, like on the news, I would see this for like stocks and stuff, or for sports. I don't know, whatever you feel like you need to use it for. So those are the text tools in Premiere Pro CS6. My name is Doug, or always on board. Uh, go ahead and rate this video and check out the videos at the end of this video if you want to learn more with Premiere. And uh, yeah, have a good day, guys. The thing that you want to do to set up your brand new, uh, let's say you have a Yeti Pro microphone, which in my case I do.